In this video, I'm going to go over Ekahau AI Pro's latest feature called Network Simulator. Now, Network Simulator is a beta feature, version 11.0.1. .1. But before using Network Simulator, you must know that there are some requirements. You need to use an existing Sidekick survey or surveys, have a network selected under My Network, and also have access points in there, and also have a scaled floor plan. But of course, you should have already had a scaled floor plan if you did a validation survey. Now, the network simulator is a great feature for things like an upgrade scenario. Let's say I have an Echohel project with validation survey data in it. I, I would like to upgrade a, um, uh, my access points to a newer model access point. That could be a 6 gigahertz access point, for example, or maybe I'm just changing it out for another... Wi-Fi 6 access point. But I'm not sure if doing a one-for-one -one swap is going to meet all my requirements. So with the network simulator, we could actually simulate the change and then compare that predictive model to our existing deployment. So why don't I actually open up a project file and show you what it looks like. Here is my... Um, Project file, uh, you can see I'm using this uh, signal strength heat map right now, and I do have a network selected to, to you can see that on the right side, I have a measured AP. So this is a validation survey. These are where the APs are currently located in this deployment. For network simulator, we just go up to the top, select actions, and then we're going to click on network simulator. It's going to open up a new window, and again, they're going to bring it up and say, hey, this is a beta feature. But we're going to simulate how uh, our network, our Wi-Fi network, would perform with a different AP model. And then with 6 gigahertz, you're just going to estimate coverage for a 6 gigahertz network. And you're using the existing AP locations and comparing that survey data that's in, in this file. So to get started, we actually need to select the current access point. Now, Ekahau AI Pro has determined I'm using Cisco Meraki access points, and it said, hey, there are nine access points here. But you can see even on the right side, we want, if we want to ch change our target access point, the access point we want to compare with, you cannot select that because you need to click on this dropdown and then scroll and select the access point model. Now, I can't type this in as a version 11.0.1 .1 or use a search functionality. So hopefully, Ekahau adds that in the future. But I do have to scroll down towards uh, Meraki, and I'm going to pick the MR52. Now, my target access point is the, the newer access point model that I want to use. This is the access point I am considering or plan on using, and I want to compare to see if I meet all of my requirements uh, using the existing locations. So instead of keep current access point, I'm gonna say, hey, I wanna use the MR57, right? Select MR57. Now the channel width, you can change this and select the channel width you want. For six gigahertz, I'm going to go with 80 megahertz channel widths. And what this will do is apply the auto planner to this new predictive model. And instead of doing an automatic AP height, I know that the AP height is at 8.2 feet. So now that we have all our parameters configured here on this network simulator window, I'm going to click on simulate and we will again see another message saying that this feature is in beta. It's not recommended for production use for the time being. So running this feature will create a new set of surveys and APs for the target access points. And I'll show you that uh, down in the network section. It won't override whatever data I have here from the validation survey. All that data is still there. And it will note that there are some limitations of this feature. You cannot generate a report for these APs and uh, the generated APs and results can only be viewed in a special survey group category in the SSID filter component. So we'll click OK there, and then we just have to wait a bit for this to 
compute. Okay, so it didn't take too long to generate this new heat map on the top here right away. You can see the network health. The planning has been completed. So from the 2.4 gigahertz, using the uh, validation survey data, we've gone from 60% meeting our requirements down to 54% with the MR57. But the 5 gigahertz has increased 2%. Now we, have a, we meet our requirements 100%. And there was no existing data for six gigahertz. So we're going from nothing to meeting our requirements in six gigahertz. And that's using this new AP model, which is the Meraki MR57. If you remember in my validation survey data, I was using the MR52. If we click on details, and actually before I click on details, I want to show you on the bottom here uh, of network, you can now see that there is a generated network, which is just for this predictive model right here on this floor plan showing the signal strength. So if I click on details at the top, I am then now kind of presented with the same information. You would be able to see more floors if you had multiple floors but it is just giving you that high level um, information on the network health. You, you would compare to see if these values turned out to be good. And also on the, I, I just closed the window, but I wanna show you on the right side where we have our access points listed. You can see the generated AP model, uh, AP names, and what channels those access points are operating on. You can see on six gigahertz, it's an 80 megahertz wide channel and with its channel number and also the same for five gigahertz. Now we, we could go ahead and modify this even more. As you can see, we can click on an individual access point and see the individual access points signal coverage. But if we also wanted to go in and change the channel uh, plan, we could click on channel planner at the top and go select on selected network here at the top. And it's using the um, generated Meraki MR57 network, which was down here at the bottom, because that's what I currently have selected. We can then say, I wanna change the channel plan for five gigahertz. It's currently at 40 megahertz wide for our selected network under five gigahertz. And then say we want to make make it all just 20 megahertz channel widths and then click on create. It will change the channels for the access points on this floor plan on this network that I'm currently on. So if you had multiple networks, it would do it for each one. And then we click on okay. There you go. Just took a little bit of time. And now you can see on the right side, all my channels are now 20 megahertz channel, channel widths. And you can do the same for the six gigahertz side can change the frequency band to six gigahertz and you could opt to say 160 megahertz wide channels if we click on create and there you go all the channels are 160 megahertz wide but we are having some channel interference because i have it set to one so that's that's kind of the gist of the network simulator feature now if you did want to change uh maybe you didn't like the mr57 and you want to go and use a different model you could do that again but you do have to select the ap the current access point model and just rerun that data what what i'm not sure of is if it will still use the i think it would still use that validation survey data so if we go to meraki mr52 and then let's just say we want to use this, um, maybe a Cisco 9136, for example. So if we go to Cisco 9136, let's just pick 160 megahertz wide channel widths to make this different and then click on simulate. And it just disappeared on me. So I don't even know how to bring that, that up. How do we view that information. So I haven't figured out how to view the network health after running the the beta feature, but it would be nice to, to bring up those details again. So network simulator, I think is a great feature for those of you who want to, to change out your access points and you have survey data, 
but you want to see if doing a swap of those access points still meet your network requirements. And from there, you can adjust that design, that predictive model to meet those requirements that you have. Maybe change the channel with create a new channel plan, transmit power plan, or you can add or remove access points. That's uh, one way to try to leverage your existing network drops. So uh, it's a good look into Network Simulator. I think there's room for improvement there. It's still a beta feature for Echo AI Pro, but definitely useful for for me and uh, the clients that I work with that are upgrading to six gigahertz APs, but still want to um, uh, take advantage of the existing network infrastructure they have and the cabling. And so uh, being able to plan this way and have a comparison from your pr new predictive model to your existing data is um, gives you data to arm yourself as you go into these meetings and have discussions with IT managers. So I hope uh, you found this video, video useful, uh, looking into some of the new features of Echo AI Pro, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.